right, welcome back. Let's talk about some new research showing a jump in cancer cases among young people. A new study looked at data from 1990 to 2019, and it found a nearly 80% increase in new cancer cases in people under 50 years old. In addition to genetics, the findings stated that a Western diet consisting of too much red meat and salt could be putting people at risk. So we have our favorite doctor, my personal doctor as well, Dr. Victoria Dooley from Northville Family Medicine, in to talk with us about this because we see headlines sometimes, and you don't know if it's if there's uh, something political behind it or just maybe something, you know, a lot of people are saying, oh, I, it does seem like a lot of younger people are dying from cancer, but you don't really know if there are numbers behind it. But in this case, there are. There absolutely are. And all the reasons reasons we don't know, we're still investigating. Absolutely, diet is a huge part of it. Super processed foods, drinking too much alcohol, and I think younger people, they have this um, attitude as we're here for a good time, not a long time. Yeah. My nephew tells me that all the time, and I get it. We're, we have a war, we have global warming. They don't know how much longer we're gonna have a habitable earth. So they're mm. like, hey, you only live once, we're gonna drink, we're gonna travel, we're gonna eat processed foods. Maybe that has something to do with it, um, but ultimately, there's many factors that we're still investigating. And even growing up, you know, eating these snacks and the fruit snacks and the mm -hmm. things that were in our lunch boxes as kids, and then that just becomes the way that you eat. It becomes a part of your diet, and it sometimes maybe is too late before you get that, you know? It is. Unfortunately, you need to change. it's easier and qu quicker, often cheaper to eat junk, right? To go through McDonald's fast food, to grab something out the vending machine. Yeah, yeah. That's a yep. lot easier than chopping up some apples at home and putting them in a bag and bringing them to work. So we like things quick, fast, in a hurry in the U.S., but that's not the most healthiest way. A Mediterranean diet, a diet with um, olive oils, fruits, not so much meat, too much red meat can increase your cancer risk. So there's a lot of factors that we're still investigating, but diet is huge. Can we run through some of the screening ages and how do you know, what are some things that you can maybe be checking for in your body? to know, you know what, maybe I need to just go and have this looked at. Well, colon cancer is on the rise. The age for screening colonoscopy used to be 50, now it's lowered to 45. However, and we talked about this on Colon Cancer Awareness Month, if you have any symptoms of colon cancer, unusual weight loss, um, rectal bleeding that's going on for weeks and weeks, you can get your colonoscopy at any age. You can get a colonoscopy at 21 if you're having symptoms of colon cancer. Breast cancer, we don't start screening until 40 usually. Mm -hmm. However, if you have a first degree relative, like mother, or father, or sibling who had cancer, then you really need to be screened like 10 to 15 years before them. So if your mom had a breast cancer at 45, we might start screening you at 30 to 35. Mm. So it's really important to know your family history. And I know in some families, especially African-American families, we don't talk about things. You know, you might know your uncle has something, yeah. but nobody wants to talk about what it is. And it's very important for everybody to talk about your family history so that your doctor knows what things they need to screen you for sooner because you have a family history. What is the right way for a patient to be persistent? If you feel like something is wrong but maybe you don't feel like you're being heard or you feel like it's been waved off by your doctor absolutely so you want a good primary care doctor that you trust and if you go in for one complaint and you feel like you're not being heard then you tell them hey I was here for this last time I don't feel like I was being heard this is my main concern and listen to their answer and if their answer is just like oh you're too young to have breast cancer then find a new doctor there is mm. no age that is too young to get breast cancer and colon cancer nowadays but when people go online and they read about the symptoms yeah what does web MD usually tell you have when you put in no matter what the every single is. time cancer every right? single time <laughs> it always says cancer is a possibility yeah so if you do not trust the person that is being a provider then find another one and that's easy to say right because it costs a lot to go to the doctor so we do need national health care where it doesn't cost so much for people to go to the doctor but give them a chance say I've been here once I feel like you didn't hear me this is what I'm concerned about and then if they still blow you off you got to find somebody else I watch a lot of these holistic shows where you do see people who seem to have these miraculous stories I was diagnosed with this this and this and a healthy diet changed everything and now look at me are those real do you see that in the everyday world I can't say that none of those stories are real yeah um, but me personally if I had cancer would I I go and do some holistic retreat and try to cure it. No, um, what the guy, the Apple guy, didn't mm -hmm. he try that stuff with his yeah. cancer? And yep. what happened to him? Yeah. Right? So I believe in combining Eastern and Western medicine. Mm. You might need some traditional medicine, but of course, if you want to supplement it with some other non harmful, um, you know, things, then go ahead and do that. But I don't think that you should just completely get rid of that Western medicine. Dr. Dooley, all right, you heard it here first. Information right there on the screen. Thank you, Dr. Dooley. Thank you.